Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing quarantine makeup. <laughs> so what that is, this is actually a video idea that was suggested by a couple of my subscribers and I thought it was a really fun idea. I'm creating a makeup look that you guys can easily recreate because I'm using very popular products that I know a lot of you guys own and even if you don't own these products, I made sure I only use colors that were very dupable. Even if you don't own the items that I used in this video, I think it'll be very easy for you to dig through your collection and find similar colors and you can recreate this look with me and you won't have to go out and buy the products you already have them so I hope you guys are social distancing and doing your part I think this is a fun way to kind of talk about that and just distract yourself with some makeup so if you want to see how I got this super pretty simple look and what products I use then just keep watching <laughs> All right, so I got my hair up. We're ready to go for primers. I'm using my primer that I've literally used for forever. And this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I feel like this was very popular. Not as many people use it, but it's such a good milky moisturizing primer. I use it all the time because I have a very thirsty skin and it's just so good. And if you haven't tried it and you have dry skin and you're looking for a nice moisturizing primer, I just love this. It's so lightweight. It sinks right into the skin. It's perfect for before makeup. And then for foundation, there were so many different items that I thought I could have chosen. I actually ended up choosing the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear Foundation. It's so popular. So many of you guys at this point have picked it up because it's freaking awesome. It's super skin light, super lightweight. I have mine in the shade 430. It's a pretty good match for me. It seems to be we're probably only in just the very beginning stages of this whole social distancing thing going on you know hopefully it works so that it's not going to be super long of a time that we're doing this but i know there's so many people that are affected by this it's crazy and a lot of times those of us who are lucky enough to be in situations where we're not as affected it's easy to forget all of those that are all of the working adults with kids all of the kids who are out of their routine and need that routine the kids whose only meal really is at school for the day. The people that, you know, don't have the option to work from home or whose job was closed down and now they don't get any paycheck right now. Like there's so many people negatively affected by this and the people who are still having to work and putting their self and their health and their loved one's health at risk. It really is a very scary thing, all of this closing down. I am so very lucky that I'm a teacher and even then, I'm very affected, but you know, regardless, they have my job's best interest at heart and they're doing what they can for health. I'm still getting paid. For me, I'm lucky, but not everybody else is as lucky. I think about the college students right now. There's college athletes who are on their senior season. Like, I don't think I really ever talked about this, but I did play a sport in college due to some circumstances. I did have uh, my season taken away from me and I can only imagine, you know, having the rug pulled from under you and of course, sports in the grand scheme of things aren't as important as health but it still sucks either way no matter what end you're on for eyebrows by the way i was looking for my abh brow pencil couldn't find it so i'm just going to use this nyx one but eyebrow products are eyebrow products so my boyfriend is still a college student right now and he came to visit me for his spring break and we were so sad like four days ago because he was about to have to leave on Sunday and it was such a quick trip it felt like. Come Thursday I get a text from him and it seems like Thursday was the most crazy day where school systems were closing left and right. All of the colleges were closing, all of the different sports leagues were postponing or canceling. It just was like all the world I felt like was burning <laughs> around me and then I get a text from my boyfriend that they extended his spring break for another week so obviously the circumstances are bad but he got a message and his school just is going online for the rest of the semester so yeah that's like so crazy and my boyfriend he's from Spain he goes to college in America so I have a new roommate now so our relationship <laughs> so funny is going from one extreme to the other we were long distance for almost two years and now all of a sudden he's my roommate for like 
till August. So that's crazy. And right now I'm just putting on some color pop brow gel, but right now Spain isn't doing the best in as far as the coronavirus situation. So we've been keeping a close eye on that. And his family right now is all healthy and doing good. They're all at home together, so thank goodness, but let's hope it stays that way. Today they had a lot of new cases, a lot of new deaths, so it's very, very scary. <laughs> Concealer, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Love this, this is a classic and it's such a good concealer. So even though this hot mess is like so, so scary, I'm not completely mad about not being long distance for a while, <laughs> but no, I mean, it is still horrible and Definitely my job is like in limbo. We don't know if we're going online for how long we're going to be online. Right now, they're using up our snow days. So that's how they're doing it. Just to take this week to figure out what the heck we're gonna do. And then we have five emergency days, which I don't think they've ever used in years. And they're gonna use those for next week. And after that, we're gonna buckle down and decide if um, I'm gonna have to teach PE online <laughs> or if we're gonna go in. I just, I don't see us going back in two weeks. It's too risky. We have the other countries as examples, so I don't know. This uncertainty is very anxiety producing. So for powder, I was gonna use like the Laura Mercier or something like that, but I decided to just use my Cody Airspun, mostly because I haven't used it in a while, but I really like this powder for every day. It's just cheap and it gets the job done. You get so much product, it lasts forever. Now, so many people don't like this because of flashback, but I mean, I don't know. People get really scared of flashback and I'm like, unless you're going to a place to an event where you know you're going to have your picture taken like I hardly ever have my picture taken so if a product produces flashback like I like to know so that I don't wear it to an event that I am going to have my photo taken but nine times out of ten I'm not having my photo taken anywhere so I like this powder it just kind of it does what it needs to do it sets your makeup it makes your skin look really soft I like it a lot it's really cheap then for bronzer I chose the physicians formula butter bronzer this is just such a good bronzer it's so popular for a reason it's the perfect color I love this bronzer so much I shattered one of these last year and I was devastated <laughs> because I really felt like I was missing it from my routine when I couldn't use it for a while because it's just such a solid bronzer. It's like an expensive bronzer from the drugstore, but it's good. Beautiful, it just glitters on my skin. It is very popular for a reason. Okay, so let's do my eyes next. So I'm gonna use my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I always use this just because I love the clean canvas that it gives my eyes for eyeshadow, but she does crease. Like, this eye primer does make my eyes crease, but I just feel like, whatever. I don't really care about eyeshadow creasing if it's not horribly creasy. Okay, so for eyeshadows, there were so many that I wanted to choose from. You guys know I'm kind of an eyeshadow addict, but ultimately, I really wanted something that I felt like so many of you had that you could recreate, and we are bringing out good old soft glam. I don't know what kind of look I want to create, so what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this eye so I can really create a look, and then I'll be back and we'll do this eye. So I totally just created the most simple look known to man, but I don't know, a lot of you guys really seem to like it when I create super simple looks, so that's what we're just gonna go with. We're gonna start off by taking a little bit of tempura, and I'm just gonna put this right here to brighten up that eyelid like that you see how it brightened everything up you don't have too much glimmer going on except for right in the center which i'll show you what i used but now we're gonna go into orange soda and this is a wayne goss number 16 brush we're gonna put this all over as that transition shade super simple look guys we're gonna deepen that up with a bit of burnt orange this is gonna be like easiest tutorial to recreate ever. Okay, and blend that. This is an Isam S33 brush, by the way. And then I wanted to brown her up a little bit, so I'm going to take right here some of Rustic. This is a Refer 14 brush, and we're going to brown this up right here. I mean, this look has been created on YouTube a billion and one times, but it's such a classic pretty look. So we're going to dip into Noir right here, which with a Refer number three brush. So I have a pencil brush and black. And I also wanted to use this palette because this palette contains colors that so many other palettes contain. So you can still recreate this look if you don't have it. And you're gonna use a piece of cardboard 
and just fake a big old wing like that. And it's gonna be way softer than actual eyeliner, but luckily ABH's black is incredible. Blend this to how you like it. Boom, look at that wing. It's actually a lot more pointy than this one. I'm gonna make this one more pointy. One of the simplest techniques ever for shadow liner. Isn't that so stunning? And then on my lower lash line, I kind of wanted to create like a smudgy brown effect. And I don't know if this is super popular, but this is the Fenty liner in puppy eyes, but use whatever brown liner that you have. This one is metallic though. And then I'm gonna go into Rustic, which is that cool brown. And we're gonna smudge that out. Also, I wanna bring some more Rustic up here. And if you wanna leave the look like this, this is such a pretty all matte smoky eye, but I wanted to pull out a glitter that maybe you guys haven't used in a while. And remember how popular the Stila glitter and glows were? They're one of my favorites. So I'm gonna use Smoldering Satin. And this one is a bit dried out, but I'm just gonna literally take this and pop some glitter right in the center. It got a little bit too chunky on this side, chunkier than I was going for, but we'll make this side chunky too to make them even. But I'm just popping a little bit right in the center because you're at home anyways, what does it matter? Glimmer a little, just a little bit for some fun pop. Let's do some mascara. I'm gonna take some of Benefit Roller Lash. Now, I only have like three mascaras open, so I'm just using whatever I had. I'm gonna go off camera because this, <laughs> This takes focus. Okay, and then for lashes, what I'm choosing are the classic Ardell Demi Wispy. So again, I'm actually just gonna turn the camera off, put these on, and we'll be back out to finish the rest of the face makeup. Okay, so with lashes on, does this not really complete the look? Good old Ardell Demi Wispies. They're not super long, which I really like, because it doesn't take away from the smoky liner. It almost makes it look more smoky. We're gonna move on to the color products like blush and highlight. And for blush, we're going to use good old Milani Luminoso. This is kind of a classic product. I was going back and forth between what I wanted to use, but I just really like the tone of this with the eyeshadow anyway, so it works out perfect. A classic kind of oldie but goodie, so pretty. Has some glow to it. So I picked out another throwback item for highlighter. We're gonna use good old Champagne Pop. I've hit pan on this, but it's been a while since I've used it, but she is a very good highlight like that. I mean, it was super popular for a reason. It's so good, and I know so many of you still have it, but there's been so many other good highlights that have come out that people just don't use this one anymore, but hopefully I can encourage you to dig it out, because look at that. It is very pretty. I know it's sitting in the back of your drawer. I'm gonna put just a little bit right here, and we're going to put some right in the inner corner because this really brightens up an eye look. I don't know how you can go without just adding a little bit of brightness to the eye. For lips, I put out a couple options. I put out MAC Whirl Lipstick. Wow, this is darker than I remember, but this was really popular for a while. I'm gonna use these Fenty Liquid Lipsticks. They're good. I know so many of us collected these. They're super pretty. Uh, we're gonna go with Unbutton. This is like a nude color, a peachiness to it. I love the tip that they use because it makes it so easy to shape out a lip shape. So while that dries on top, I'm going to use my Fenty fussy gloss on top just to add some glow to the lips. We need to hydrate again with some gloss. Cool. So I'm going to zoom out and we'll show you the final look. All right. So here we have it. This is the final look. It's a very basic, simple look, but you guys definitely seem to appreciate when I do simple tutorials like that. And I wanted to make sure I was using products that you probably have somewhere stashed in your makeup collection. And even if you don't, the colors and the product are very dupable. So that's why I stuck to really only browns and blacks on my eyelid for eyeshadow. Any kind of color glitter to add a pop in the center of your lid, any peachy lip gloss, anything will work. So all of these are very easily dupable colors. And then we created a really fun kind of natural kind of not glam eye and I love it. This type of look is so good for so many occasions and so I hope this was a fun distraction for you. Thank you to my subscribers who suggested this video. I thought it was a really fun idea and it was very fun for me to pull out some older makeup that I haven't used in a while and I created a look that I really love. So that is all I have for today's video. If you have any video requests that you would like to see over the next couple of weeks, let me know. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you take the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.